What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you guys with our week seven team builder slash battle for the IBL. This week we take on Ruppy and his Columbus Swoo. And to be honest, uh, kind of intimidated. Ruppy is actually tied for the best record in the league right now. He's currently five and one, and I think there's two other people in the league that are five and one, five and one as well. So definitely have our work cut out for us this week. Make sure to definitely go check out my opponent. His YouTube channel will be linked down in the description below, and go shoot him a sub. And also, if you guys aren't subscribed to me already, make sure to click that sub button down below. Leave a like on the video. Definitely show some love for your boy. I've been putting in work. Um, spoilers in three, two, one. We caught the dub last week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we did. Uh, currently on a three-game winning streak. So uh, I believe Ruppy might be on a three-game winning streak as well. So like I said, we definitely have our work cut out for this week. As always, guys, there will be a timestamp right about now. If you guys do want to go ahead and skip this team builder, team builder portion of the video, skip straight to the battle. No hate. But we're going to go ahead and dive into a couple of the things that I'm bringing and why I'm bringing them. So you guys can see his team to the... So one of those two directions. Uh, and his team consists of Kiram the uh galvantula g max had a weenie um rotom wash vullaby salazzle serena runa regis clean clang orangaroo and the cobalion so uh big six are the ones that i'm expecting him to bring the little ones i'm not expecting him so much uh i could definitely see kiram coming in this game i'm expecting like a choice scarf variant that probably would be the best for his team ice beam earth power draco and freeze dry most likely um ice beam just there probably to knock out my dragon pole uh garvantula i do kind of expect both of his electric types to come uh garvantula does get things like energy ball um i know he's brought hyper voice in the past he's also brought scarfed in the past um but this thing does get uh some nice moves that he can hit me with so i'm definitely expecting that to come uh hatterene which actually is a pain in in team building it's such a pain um nothing that my team switches in on it even a fully spadef uh av drapion actually doesn't even eat a hit from this thing so so powerful with the life orb and if it gets up a trick room it could be kind of uh bad for us but uh rotom wash which is just uh, his bulky water type which i do expect him to bring kind of physically defensive for my darmanitan he either brings that or the runa regis so uh either or i can see coming for that slot but it does give him a, a good defogger as well if he does want to bring that vullaby i know it's weird to think that a vullaby's uh vullaby's gonna come but you know what uh, it eats hits from my uh, from my Dragapult. It absolutely eats hits with the Violite. I'm not really touching it. It's doing as much as I would do to a regular Mandibuzz. So definitely expect that to come. And lastly, Salazzle. Salazzle could be really annoying with a sub protect toxic flamethrower set that I've been seeing him bring a lot. So I'm definitely expecting it to come this game. And I know he's going to bring it for sure. So we definitely have to keep an eye on that. As far as the bottom six, I could see him bringing something like the Serena instead of maybe the Rotom Wash or the Gavantula. Uh Definitely, you know, pretty powerful offensive force. I don't really see him bringing Cobalion. It's a steel type. I have dual fires on my team. Uh, Orangaroo, I don't really see coming as well. Uh, my G-Max is a bug type. And um, I do have like things like Drapion that could hit it as well. And then Runarigas could be pretty good with like T-Spikes and... Um, with T-Spikes and like Stealth Rock just to set up. So I could I could see him bringing those. So it's really a toss up guys. Um, one thing I did notice is the six that I'm expecting are all pretty much special attackers. So we're going to hope that helps play in um, effect here. And actually I'm doing something new guys with my team builder. So usually I'll have all the Pokemon on the layout of what I'm bringing the six. But right now I'm going to try just to have you guys already see Primarina right there so she's obviously there on the layout but as I slowly integrate every Pokemon into my team builder I'm going to be putting them on the slide so hopefully that looks pretty cool it's my first time doing it but nevertheless starting off with my girl Melody here oops 
my girl melody here so my girl melody is um i was debating this slot this is actually a last minute bring on my end thinking it would be uh pretty good so my girl is holding the light clay uh the ev spare we're rocking this week is going to be 252 hp for defense 12 special attack 28 speed def with 212 speed with a calm nature so i have enough speed on there to i believe out speed Mm, I think the speed I'm actually had to double check that because I built this team a couple a couple days ago I think it's for non speed invested Rotom wash if I'm not mistaken. So a uh, min speed Rotom wash uh, The moves on this are going to be reflect light screen hyper voice and moon blast. So uh, Dual screens. I want to bring them. I'm really scared of his Hatterene things like his Galvantula things like his Kiram. So getting up a light screen will be pretty beneficial for us um, We can eat hits from all his physical attacker set up a screen hyper voice there over anything like scald or energy ball just because if he does bring a sub salazzle set our hyper voice will go through that sub uh it is liquid voice boosted let me double check yes we are liquid voice so it's liquid voice boosted we'll go through the sub and we'll oko it unless it's max hp with a little bit of spadef but um most of the time we're okoing it and yeah that's pretty much my pre-marina set there dual screens to try to help out the whole team Next, we got my boy Knuckles, and you guys saw how much work Knuckles put in last week. Uh, picking up three kills, or two, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Rocking the Choice Scarf. I'm rocking basically max speed, max attack, because like I said, I am expecting him to bring a... Um a choice scarf curum this does speed tie the curum uh we can go ahead and knock it out with two flare blitzes iron head is there just in case i don't really want to take the recoil earthquake is there to hit um the salazzo if i need to and the rune Regis. but rune Regis, i'm doing more with flare blitz so it's pretty much my Dormantan set kind of basic but still hoping to put in the work with it uh jolly nature of course so that we can speed tie um next we got my boy hotbox with the heavy duty boots so uh this is basically just meant to be a bulky type of mon that can switch in on a lot of his physical attackers like cobalion like the serena we don't really have to worry about those things and um the ev spread we're rocking this week is 252 hp four defense four special attack 188 speed def and 60 speed so the speed is there i believe for a jolly serena max speed uh serena yes i believe that's what it's for um oops sorry guys my phone picked off um but yeah so uh the speed's there for a non-speed boosted serena we also have enough speed def where we can take on I believe it is a modest max attack specs sludge wave we're three hit killed by that from a salazzo uh we take hits from the garantula for days we take hits from the kiram we take hits from the clean clang so this thing is basically just a bulky pivot into all of those mons um this week we're rocking pain split defog thunderbolt and the overheat i didn't see volt switch being needed as um I actually want to stay in with this thing. You know, we can pain split, get some health back. Uh, we could defog if he has up toxic spikes or rocks from his Rune Regis. And then overheat is just there for things like the Cobalion, things like the Serena, things like the Kiram. Those things all don't want to take an overheat. Gavantula as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what Rotom is here meant here to do. Rocking that timid nature just so we can get the max out of our EVs. Next, we're bringing Megamind. Y'all have been seeing how much work Megamind has been putting in, and it's ridiculous. Uh, this thing, I actually enjoy it a lot. Um, I drafted it mostly thinking it was going to be like a good sticky webs user, but it actually has just been putting in the absolute work. So I love me some G Max Orbito. This week, we're rocking the Assault Vest. This is going to be our only switch into the Serena. Uh, not Serena, into the uh, Hatterene. So we go G Max for G Max. Uh, Assault Vest eats the hits pretty well. Even if he does have Mystical Fire, we're still three hit KO'd by it. Um, even G Max. Um, this week's EV spread is going to be max HP, 140 special attack, and 116 speed. The speed is there for that Jolly Serena. I think that's all it's for. It might be... Oh, that's actually for max speed Rotom, actually. Now that I remember. Um, 
and yeah the special attack evs are just there to hit a little bit harder rocking assault vessel you know we got four moves shadow ball psychic energy ball and bug buzz pretty much hit most of his team for uh, neutral or super effective damage if i'm not mistaken i think the only thing we don't hit is clang clang and uh yeah i think that's oh that's, no yeah yeah that's it i originally had aquaberry on this set but um thanks to our hp investment we're actually not okayed by a max special attacking modest choice specs to lazo so we'll definitely eat that hit if he does want to bring it and for my last two months um i just i decided to do something a little a little funky you know go outside of my comfort zone and, and try something uh that we tried previously we didn't get to show it off though but we're gonna try to do it again so um we're gonna bring woobat here uh so woobat's rocking the focus sash this week the ev spread is not very important but what is important is actually the move set so this week we're gonna be rocking nasty plot baton pass air slash and stored power so this thing is mostly meant to switch into two things. Either my Ore Beetle, if it's late game and I have the potential to sweep, I get up to plus four. I pretty much sweep through his whole team. We eat hits from pretty much everything that outspeeds us the Cobalion, the Kiram. We take hits from the Galvantula. So we should be okay. Um, if we don't get that baton pass off we do still have the option to store power so that's pretty good and air slash uh both very powerful against this team uh but yeah we're mostly uh trying to nasty plot baton pass into my girl daenerys here so my girl daenerys here is our win con this game definitely rocking the extra belt just to hit um with these super effective moves nothing really special to our ev spread it's going to be 60 hp four defense 252 special attack force with death and 188 speed with the um infiltrator ability so uh infiltrator ability is there i actually wanted to get clear body on this just in case he had sticky web so I might actually have to change that before the battle. So I'll actually change that before the battle. But um, the moveset we're rocking this week is going to be Fire Blast, Draco, Shadow Ball, and U-Turn. So once we get that plus four into this, nothing switches in on it. We just have to pray that we hit those Fire Blasts. Excuse me, we really have to pray we hit those Fire Blasts. That's going to really count on things like the Cobalion, things like the... Um, Cobalion and the Galvantula, uh, along with uh, what else? The Clang Clang. We're gonna need and the Serena. So we're definitely gonna need to hit our Fire Blast this game. Four of them. Hopefully we can hit. Um, and yeah, guys, we get off a free Draco if we do get that nasty plot in there, cause we actually get off two free Dracos. So if he doesn't bring his, um, if we get rid of G Max Hattery, we could just start launching off those uh, Dracos there. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually change that nature real quick, and I'll be right back with you. Um, with you guys with the battle alrighty guys we are back with the battle and we are about to go ahead and click a and see what Ruffy brought guys so moment of truth I'm pretty nervous okay so he brought okay so kind of the things we were expecting um okay so no Galvantula which is good to see and no Vullaby which means Shadow Ball is pretty free against this team. The only thing that really wants to switch in on it is uh, Cobalion, kind of. But other than that, we're looking pretty, pretty all right. And AV, um, AV or Beetle is going to put in a lot of work this game. Cobalion can check be checked by Primarina or the Rotom Heat, which is awesome. I think he leads Kiram or the Runarigas. In both cases, I do live a choice specs freeze dry, so I don't mind just leading off my Primarina and getting up my screens. I think so. At team, at team preview, guys, is it's it's looking it's looking doable. It's really looking doable. We might be able to win this game. Uh, Primarina covers. Okay, good thing I brought default because he probably brought T spikes to pressure me. But uh, that meat that has to mean he has defog on the Rotom. No Serena is good to see too. I was kind of worried about Serena, and no Clean Clang is really good to see as well. So we'll open up our damage calculator here. As he probably leaves Runarigas, right? As he does lead the Kiram. Okay, so like I said, 
We live a choice specs. Choice specs freeze dry. Pressure, okay, we knew that. Um, Pre Marina. We do live a choice specs Duila Modest. We live a choice specs modest freeze dry, and we do big damage in return with the. Uh, dude, I don't. I could just switch right into Rotom, right? But I kind of don't want to. I could just switch into Orbital too, but I think getting off the damage is so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and Moonblast here, because we do live a choice specs modest. Uh, max special attacking um, freeze dry here. So let's see if he is choice specs. We will live on like two percent. It's not. It's not choice specs. Get off a moon blast here, and that does big damage. So this thing's kind of bulky, and we get the special attack drop, which is huge. Do we live this now? Let me see. Eighty-five out of this. I don't think we do. Eighty-five. We might actually. It might be a roll. I'm gonna try to get up my light screen here. I'll try to get up a light screen. I think it's worth it. Eight turns of light clay light screen. The only thing is, I, I did change Infiltrator on my Dragapult to the um, clear body for sticky webs. Okay, so, oh wait. We might live this actually. And we do, awesome. So we get up the light screen, which is huge. Eight turns of light screen here. And um, I think I'm just gonna go right into Rotom. Or should I go into Knuckles? I'm kind of willing to go into Knuckles and save Melody as a sack. Let's do it. I'm not really too scared. We know he's not Choice Specs. He might be Metronome. I don't really think he is though. But Darmanitan Max is going to be taking... Freeze Dry. Let's see how much he takes. Does nothing behind the light screen. That's awesome. So now I can either launch off. Actually, let me check. Darmanitan, it does kill. It looks like it kills with the U-turn. Um, what's it switch into this Rotom? It looks like we kill with the U-turn. I kind of don't mind. Let me see. Rotom Wash. Like a fully defensive Rotom Wash. What's he taking from this? Bold with the lefties. Got 30 seconds left. So, Darmanitan is doing about... If it's a 2 hit KO, I'm going for it. It's not. Uh, I feel like he has some bulk on this Kyurem. I kind of just want to go for Flare Blitz, just in case he stays in. I could go U-turn. If I don't kill, I can go Primarina. Let's do that. Let's U-turn. If I don't kill, I'll go into Primarina. Okay, cool. So, we do get Switch Initiative here. And he does go Laundry Day. Okay. So we'll be able to get some intel on this as well. That did about... Wow, that did a lot. Let me see. Okay. Actually, yeah, that's looking like he's actually um, defensive. Yeah. Should I go into Primarina here? I think he's defensive. We can get off a pretty big Moonblast. And then we can go into something like my Orbital. I like that. Let's do that. We can figure out if we speed invested right now. Okay, let's see. And he's lefties. Okay, so he it does look like he's just max max. Uh here I'm gonna go for Moonblast. I do think that his Kira might be scarfed. It should be doing half if he stays in, if we do manage to get it off. Okay, we do outspeed. Awesome. So let's see how much this does. Okay, so he's probably like mixed defensive. And he'll vote switch and he'll kill me here. Okay, so we can see what he wants to go into. But I think we're pretty free just to go into Darm and click buttons here. Does Darm kill a Salazzled Flare Blitz? Let me double check that. Actually, here I might be able to bring in Dragapult too and just like U-turn out or something. 
uh, Darmanitan to something like the Hattering can be kind of bad at him bringing that in as well. Uh, so this against the Salazzo is what I want to check. Sorry guys if the camera is kind of moving. Uh, does big damage. As he actually brings in Kiram. Um, how much is my guy doing to Kiram here? Orbito to Kiram. We know he's kind of specially invested. Draco. Uh, looks like Bug Buzz will kill from this range. Uh, yeah, let's do that because I am AV. We shouldn't have anything this thing wants to go for. Habonberry. Okay, so it was actually Habonberry. So good to know. So he shouldn't be able to do that much to us here. We're going to launch up a free bug buzz. We should live any hit he wants to go for. I am. Uh, oh, he goes for Roost. Okay. Okay, so how much is G Max Orbital doing to this? We will kill. Okay, so this is kind of a problem. Uh, I'm willing to just go ahead and go for Bug Buzz here. We can start lowering down this thing's special attack. Yeah, let's do that. And he, he should be able to live two of them. So he does stay in. So we're going to eat any hit he wants to go for. And then, let me write this down, so. Okay. Roost? Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to roost all this, and his special attack is going to be going down and down and down. He might be able to roost stall me. He's doing a pretty good job of uh, stalling out my screens as well. Um. Okay, so Bug Buzz and Gravitas is doing the same thing. Uh, let's, give, let's give him a free switch into Cobalion if he does want to go for it. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna he's gonna roost stall me here. So. Hmm. The second week I don't optimize my G Max the, the way I should. It's my last turn of screens. We know he's kind of invested. Let's see. It's in. Kiram. Flare Bits is going to kill this thing from the range it's at. Should I just double into my Darm here? Kind of feel like it's worth it. Let's do it. Cause he's not gonna let me have this. It's okay. Well, we started last turn at G Max, which is perfectly fine. Uh, it was a little premature, but it's okay. He goes for roast. Yep. And yep, looks like he's right at about like 95. I'm just gonna flare blitz here, I think. I don't kill him, unfortunately, from this range, but um, neither does he. Since I will, he will be at minus two. Yep, he eats that. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think this actually kills. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. So, this Kiram is kind of annoying. I feel like he's going to double into Rotom here. If he doubles into Rotom, should I double into Megamind here? Because he doesn't click Roost here. And he has a pretty free switch into Rotom. So, let's go ahead and, and pull the double here. I don't think he lets me have this. 
And if he does, it's a safe switch. He's at minus two. And uh, we are AV. Frisk can find us that bond. He actually stood in. He actually stood in. Wow. He was gonna let us have this. Um. Well, that's very unfortunate because now he could just roost me to death. Um. Wow, I'm really surprised he stayed in there. We gotta watch our time too. Um. Yeah, I think. Spadef, right? Yeah, okay. So we got a Psyche try to get the Spadef drop and kill him like that. Yeah. This Kiram is really annoying. No Spadef drop. Okay, well, I'm willing to go ahead and um, stay in a little bit. Excuse me. He doesn't have a dark type on his team. No Vullaby. Hmm. Okay, so that's what, what he goes into here. Guardian, which is going to be Cobalion. Okay. So we Psychic this. Big damage. Uh, pretty free switch into Hotbox here. And if he kills my hotbox, I think I'm just going to go Woobat and just try to set up. He also has the Rune Regis, so we have to keep that in mind, too. Iron Head, okay. See how much this does. Doesn't really do anything. Does anything on this team want to take a Overheat? Let me see, what's this doing to Cobalion real quick? Uh, Rotom Heat to the Cobalion. Thunderbolt still does half. I think it's safer to go for uh, Thunderbolt here. Should go Rotom. Yep. Let's go to Rotom. Oh, wow, that did a lot. Okay. My pre-marina outsped this, so... Let me see. My pre-marina outsped this. Oh, man. I feel like we outspeed this. I'm going to have to go for Thunderbolt here. I don't want to waste any more time. I'm clicking it. I feel like we outspeed this. Yes, okay, cool. That was a gamble because I really didn't know. And we kill this Rotom Heat, which is uh, Rotom Wash, which is great. We have one more Flare Blitz from our Dimantan that we can just launch off, and he has to choose a sack. So once we get a free switch into that, that's going to be really good. All right. uh, he can get up rocks with Cobalion or Rune. But. Um, if it goes into Rune Regis here, I really don't know what I go into though. Maybe he thinks I'm scarfed. Maybe he thinks I'm scarfed. I think he might bring in um, the Hatterene. Yeah, oh, this is going to be Slazzle. Okay, well, we know what this thing does, right? We know what this thing does, right? Um, we know what it does. We just gotta click Thunderbolt. Either he subs, he protects, he toxics, he sludge waves. Okay, well, we can't eat this for sure. We are a bulky Rotom. Yep, we do eat it. And go for Thunderbolt here. We got a big damage. Okay, cool. So, um, this thing is our switching, but it's so risky. Uh, I could beat, I could beat the Cobalion. Uh, I could beat the Cobalion, right? I could beat the Cobalion. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to sack this off. 
I can't. Ju I just can't let him get up rocks. Okay. Now let me check if this thing is scarfed. Cause now, now um, my dragon pulse looking like a problem for him. Okay, if this thing is scarfed, I was expecting a uh like a. Okay, I think we're pretty free to just shadow ball here. So let's do it. If this thing is scarfed, we only take about twenty six to thirty percent. Okay, he lets this thing go down. Probably to get a free switch into his Hatterene. Okay, so we're trying to write down these kills. Let me see: Salazzo kills Rotom H, Dragapult kills Salazzo. And then actually, Rotom H kills Rotom Wash Prim. I think, I think that's all the deaths. I think we're four and four right now. So I need to set up that nasty plot with the Swoobat before Hatterene comes in. We have a good chance to knock out a G Max Hatterene at max HP. Pretty good chance. So we do have to get that set up in. I just I think we have to set up on the Kiram. I think Rune, okay. He's probably the ghost berry, right? Um uh, let's go maybe I'll go to Knuckles here, sack it off. Cause we can hit it big. Um, if it is an attack, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna get this in before he gets up rocks. He probably used the ghost resist berry. And if he kills me, it's fine. I get a free switch into Wubat, in which I will pass that nasty plot. He trick rooms, yep. I figured he would. So now we have to stall out these turns. Flurbits. Now we have to stall out these turns of Trick Room. Earthquake, okay. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming, that Trick Room. But, um... We can't just go Mega Mine here. Uh, I'll just click Shadow Ball so that he doesn't have a free switch. And he's Cassie Berry, so he is the the Ghost versus Berry, which I figured. Uh, I'll Shadow Ball here. We still have a chance to win this. We need to stall out his Trick Room, and we need to pass that. Um, oh, that does a lot of damage, and we need to pass a. Um, a what's it called a uh, nasty plot into that guy okay so the next shadow claw should kill me uh well actually i think it might be a roll so let's go for it after this he'll have one more turn of trick room he does stealth rock okay good play on his end probably wants to let this thing go down hopefully we don't kill if we don't kill that's probably best case scenario Okay. He should have either two or one more turn of trick room. Let me see. One more turn. Okay, so we, sh we can knock him out this turn. If he doesn't knock us out first. Let me see something. Rune. Rune with the Shadow Claw. And we lived. With the Shadow Claw. This should kill. Shadow Claw, okay. Um, so he is not, I think he's like, mid, like no attack investment. Hmm, let's see, he probably brings in the Hattery now in Trick Rooms again. Wow, I had energy on this set, I could have just hit him with that, I'm so stupid. Um, 
He actually goes into this. Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and... Damn. I don't know if I'll be able to pass that nasty plot into... Um... Damn. Uh, we know he has freeze dry, right? That dragon pulse. Okay, so let's see. Swoobat after rocks from a Kiram. We know he's not any type of boosting item. With the freeze dry, does Wubat live? Wubat does not, unfortunately, live. Um. Do I do this? I feel like I do. The only problem is I, I don't have enough power to knock out his uh, G-Max. I don't have enough power. Yeah, I figured my time's running a little low. Uh, the game's almost over though, so it should be okay. Dragapult will kill from this range. Oh, it might not. I gotta go for Draco, actually. Um... Okay, well, I hope we don't miss. Yep, we know he's Haban. But this should still kill. Yep, we are expert belt. But I, this gives him a free switch into uh, Hatterena. And then I think Hattering just cleans up for him. Yep. Okay, well. Gotta do this, I think. He didn't? Wow. This man is an absolute savage. He's gonna go ahead and get the trick room. Such a good that was a good that was a really good play on uh, Ruppy's part. That was a really good play. Yeah, cause now there's no way I uh, I win this. Try to air slash here, but it looking it's not looking too good for us. It might be just game. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think Shadow Ball killed at the range. It did about 30% to the Kirim from where it was at. And it looked like at about 30%. But that was um, a non-HP invested. And I think he had some HP. So this, this Wubat is going down. Man. I was thinking about being like Roselli Berry. Uh, Dragapult, would that have made a difference? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it still takes 90%. Man. That's a tough loss. I feel like we played okay. It was definitely a, a rough matchup for us, but I feel like we played well. Okay, and then we'll Shadow Ball here. We're not going to live this hit, unfortunately. But man, he is... Well, I was at minus 2. So, I mean, it made sense for him to go ahead and trick room there. But, yeah, he's going to go ahead and kill off our Daenerys, guys. And that is going to be the end of the battle. The crit! The crit mattered! The crit mattered! He won because of that crit. <laughs> but, ah, oh, man, that's a tough L to swallow. But, hey, Ruppy is the man who goes ahead and knocks off our winning streak. So, we are going to continue the Season 3 and 4, unfortunately. But, guys, we do... Um, 
we're not that off from actually making it into the top cut. So we'll have to keep seeing how the season goes. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really do appreciate it. Remember, guys, if you guys aren't sub yet, make sure to subscribe. Um, hit that sub button. We are super close to 100 subscribers, so I'm really hyped for that. Hopefully, I'll do a stream or something when we hit that 100 subscribers. But, man, good games to my opponent, Ruppy. Can't be mad. He played well. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.